This is Kimon Onuma in BIM Storm and Lighten. This session is about BIM Plan and Leaflet. Leaflet is an open source JavaScript library for mobile friendly interactive maps. GeoJSON is a format for geographic data structures, or GIS. BIMStorm has taken Leaflet and GeoJSON and extended it to be building information modeling capable. We have a first version that is being open sourced through the Building Smart Alliance. This is a leaflet viewer with dots on a map of locations. In leaflet, you can actually turn on different backgrounds. So for example, if you want OpenStreetMap or Esri or Mapbox, you can turn those layers on and off. And this is extensible to other layers. So let's zoom in to a single location at the Solano Community College campus. If I click on this, it loads the campus. And now what we're seeing is the Onuma cloud server feeding building information modeling data live into this viewer. If I click on a building, it streams in information about that building, including attributes and photographs that were taken from mobile devices for asset tracking in the facility. Let's zoom back out to the portfolio level view and fly over to Washington, D.C. The significance of this combination of leaflet and GeoJSON and BIM is that you're able to rapidly collect data from many different formats, including BIM, and visualize them. Here's the SEPS to BIM clinic in Washington, D.C. that originated in Revit and the Onuma system. Here's the building. If we click on the building, we see the same attributes again. There are links to the floors that you want. You click on the first floor and you dive into the first floor. The first floor spaces get loaded. The spaces actually have attributes associated with them and components. So if you load the components, it hits the server again and in real time, they, the current components stream in, including the attributes about those components. So we scaled all the way from the worldview level down to a building and to a floor and to an individual component. And there are other links like um, warranty information, other Kobe type information could also be inside here. This is being open source, so for example, developers can develop applications on top of this. There's links down here for developers, and in a future session we'll be talking about that. For the typical user, you don't have to understand the technology, you just need to use the tools, and additional tools can be built on top of this.